Morning everybody. It is 13 degrees outside, but cozy in the tiny house. Hey guys, I am in the process of downloading and backing up all of my nearly 2,000 videos. And it's really cool because I am uh, seeing all the things I did back in the past and all the work I used to do. And it's, it's a, a blast from the past, going through all these old videos from my... I went back to my very first ever video on YouTube from 2010. And I'm downloading them all onto my hard drive. Because um, I lost all those older videos from back in the day. So now I'm downloading them all to my hard drive and uploading them to my own video site as a backup copy so I'll have two backups and um, it's really cool to see all this and at the same time I am forming a plan because I think see I'm still getting a lot of subscribers but they go to my old videos and then they get lost and I think what I need to do is organize a folder where I can save all those old, or where I can organize all them. I need to organize a web page, is what I'm trying to say, where I can organize all of my videos from the first video all the way through to the present. And I don't know if I had playlists back then. So I've got to go through all of my old videos on YouTube. And YouTube has also made changes in how in the recommendations or the requirements for you to rank on your videos so I've got to go back through them all and do some edits and modifications and um, update every single one of my nearly 2000 videos through the years and um, then I will have them organized by their playlists on a web page for your convenience so you guys can just go on and find them and if anybody wants to go back to the past and get a a little uh, walk down memory lane, which I'm doing right now, sort of. Um, it'll be sort of fun, I think, for you guys to do that. And then everybody will know where they are in the uh, the series. From the day I went off the grid, moved into the camper, and up till the present. So, anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. And then in a while, I'm going to go out and cut some more firewood because we're going to have a deep, deep, deep cold coming up. Um, actually, I put the weather station on the wall. Um, focus, focus. And it is only 19, just under 20 degrees outside right now. So um, it's, uh, it's not pretty out there. So I'm going to get out there and get some firewood cut uh, for the next coming days because it's going to be really cold. Well guys, there's some wood I went out and cut and split. Enough for uh, 24 hours. Over here, uh, uh, through my pathway of snow, um, the solar panels are a loss today. I gave up. A friend was here, you can barely tell, it's filling up. I just cut a bunch of these logs. There's not much left, but I cut them with a chainsaw and I split them. And you can see why these, um, I couldn't split them in, in, in a whole piece. These were cut in half now. I couldn't split them at all for anything. 30 hits with an axe or a maul. And that's why. The knots in these are horrendous. And the green splits and forks. So this pine wood is a nightmare to split. And it takes 20, 30 hits with each half log to get them to split in half with this uh, gnarly, gnarly uh, knots. Now I know why pine isn't commonly used, for one thing. It's really tough splitting wood. It's so gnarly inside. But uh, there's another one or two days of wood. So I'm gonna go in and warm up. And it's snowing and snowing and snowing. It just snows here, like five, six days now. It just snows. Uh, my friend today told me that's how it is up here. This is how it's going to be all winter, so new world, new life.